It's been eight years since Benedict XVI announced his resignation. His secretary, who's also prefect of the papal household, told Rome reports that the Pope Emeritus' mind remains as sharp as ever. La forza fisica è molto debole. It's true that he is physically very frail and his voice is becoming weaker, but the power of his eyes, the strength and intensity of his intellect and his mind is incredible. The faculties that are diminishing have made others grow stronger, at least that's my impression. No other pope in the history of the church has ever lived to be 93 years of age. Non dobbiamo dimenticare che lui stesso... We should keep that in mind. He tells me, I'm nearly 94 years old, what do you want from me? He didn't expect to live to this age. He's even told me he didn't imagine it would take so long to travel the distance from the end of his pontificate to meet St. Peter at the gate of heaven. Even so, the Pope Emeritus lives each day as it comes inside the Mater Ecclesiae monastery within the Vatican walls. He always dines with us and eats what we eat, only much less. I say, Holy Father, you eat like a church mouse, much too little. And he replies, yes, I don't have an appetite. I eat, but I'm not hungry. He gets up in the morning and comes to Mass. He concelebrates because he can't stand anymore. But he joins me at the altar in his wheelchair, and we concelebrate together. Archbishop Ganswein recently published a commentary on the Stations of the Cross, a tradition the Pope Emeritus has written about himself. In 2005, Cardinal Josef Ratzinger wrote a meditation on the Stations of the Cross at the request of St. John Paul II. Now in the monastery, the Stations of the Cross have become part of our pious traditions during Lent. Like many Christians, we pray the Stations of the Cross every Friday. Archbishop Ganswein's book about Jesus' final moments is currently available in German and Italian, but English and Spanish editions will be coming soon. Five years after his resignation, those who shared his final moments as Pope, his friends and the Vatican spokesman, give us the full story. We recall the most important times of his life in first-hand accounts by his brother and friends. They range from his childhood in Nazi Germany until his retirement in the Vatican Gardens, without forgetting his glory days, proclaimed by the people. Benedict XVI, in honor of the truth.